hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be looking at the solutions to question number four for biology paper 2 2020 for gce candidates so this is question number four and question number four we have figure 4.0 below shows the external parts of the human eye so the parts labeled we have uh, m uh, which is the dark part of the eye we have uh, n which is the white part of the eye then we have O which is the colored part of the eye which can be brown blue green uh, depending on the person's uh, genes so the first part of the question is question number A1 and A1 says name the parts labeled M and the N so I told to label this part and that one so the dark part of the eye this is the pupil Then uh, N, this is the white part of the eye. This is what is called the square. So those are the parts we are required to label for question number A1. So let's look at the next part of the question, which is A2. And A2 says, explain how N is adapted to its uh, function. So we are talking about the adaptation of the square. So the square. Uh, is white in color so the white color is to reflect light so it is white in color to reflect so that is the first adaptation and apart from that it is made up of tough connective tissue Tough connective tissue to maintain the shape of um, the eyeball. So these are the adaptations which the scrailer has. It is white in color so that it can reflect light so that no light goes into the eyeball. Then apart from that, it has got stuff connective tissue which maintain the shape of the eyeball. So apart from it being white, it is also opaque, meaning that it does not allow light to enter. So that is also another adaptation. So these were the solutions to question number uh, A1 and A2. So the parts M, pupil, M, scalar, then uh, the adaptations of the scalar, it is white in color to reflect the light and it is also contains connective tissue which is tough to maintain the shape of the eyeball. So let's move on now to the next part of the question which is now question number B. So the next question is question number B and B says describe the role played by M and O when a person moves to a room with dim light. So it means that the person has moved into a room which is darker, which is much darker, there's no light. So what happens to the structures M and N? So our structures we have here is M and O. We have to explain what happens when someone moves into a room with dim light. So when you move into a dim light, the pupil will actually dilate. So the pupil dilates to allow more light to enter. So that will be the first part. Then uh, the next part is O. So for part O, which is the iris. So the iris. Red dial muscles, iris red dial muscles contract while the circular muscles relax to dilate. 
the pupil. So this is what is basically going to happen. So what will happen is that here, when someone is in a dim light, the pupil will actually dilate, it will actually become bigger. So to ensure that this becomes bigger or it widens or dilates, it is actually controlled by the muscles in the iris. So we have muscles which are moving around. These are what are known as secular muscles. Then we have muscles which are moving to the center. These are what are known as the radial muscles. So what will happen is that the radial muscles are going to contract. Then the secular muscles will relax. And that is what will cause the pupil to actually widen. So that is the solution to question number B. The pupil dilates to allow more light to enter. Then the iris radial muscles contract. Now the secular muscles relax to dilate the pupil. So this was uh, the solution to question number B. Then uh, the next question is question number C. And for question number C it says, explain the causes of short sightedness and how it can be corrected. So what is so we start with the causes. So short sightedness is caused by is caused by having an abnormal abnormally large eyeball and having a permanently thick list. So these are the causes of uh, short-sightedness. Then to correct uh, this one, this one is corrected by using a concave lens. So the spectacles will normally have a concave lens and this is how we are going to control short-sightedness. So these were the solutions to question number four for biology paper two 2020 for GCE candidate. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any latest videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in the next day.